Hello there, senior high school students. Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at iklik mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 11 learners! Sa video na ito ay itutuloy natin ang inyong module 4 about simple and general annuities. Sa nakaraang video ay itinuro ko kung paano gumawa ng cash flow about simple annuities. At kung hindi nyo pa napanood yun, i-click nyo na lang dito sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Okay, so ngayon naman ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa cash flow ng general annuities. Wala pa tayo sa solving. So dito sa activity 1.1, gagawa tayo ng cash flow dito. Disclaimer lang mga anak, pinalitan ko yung mga ibang values dito para sa ganun ay subukan ninyong isolve yung nasa module ninyo. Kasi mas magandang mag-solve kapag kayo na mismo ang magsusolve. Okay? Diba, na-explain ko na na kapag ang interest period is not equal to payment interval, ibig sabihin general annuity yan. So, general annuity kapag hindi sila equal. Kapag equal naman sila, yun yung tinatawag na simple annuity. For example, quarterly payment, so quarterly payment of 5,000 pesos for 10 years with interest rate of 3% compounded semi-annually. So quarterly dito, semi-annually dito, ibig sabihin hindi sila equal, so this is a general annuity. Nakuha ninyo. Tapos, dito naman sa cash flow natin, magbabayad ka daw ng 5,000 quarterly. Or every 3 months, nagbabayad ka ng 5,000 in 10 years. Ibig sabihin, in 10 years, nagbabayad ka ng ilang beses? That is 4 times. Okay? Kaya, magiging 40 times kang magbabayad. 4 times in a year times 10 years. So, ang N natin is 40, yun yung ilalagay natin dito. Tapos, ang payment mo is 5,000 daw per payment. So, 5,000 per payment, 5,000 per payment, 5,000 din dito, at 5,000 din dito. So, ganun lang naman siya mga anak. Yung ellipsis dito, ang ibig sabihin niyan, meron pang 5,000 dito, pero ang kukumplitihon lang kasi natin is itong tatlo lang. Okay? Ngayon, ano naman ang ilalagay natin dito sa tatlong box na ito? Kagaya lang din sa simple annuity, yung formula na gagamitin ay yung compound interest. Pero dito kasi, yung rate is not the same. Quarterly tapos semi-annually. So, ang gagawin natin, gagawin natin silang equal para ma-convert natin sa compound interest formula. So, sabihin na natin na yung M1 natin, yun yung payment mo. So, nagbabayad ka ng quarterly, meaning to say that is equal to 4. At yung M2 mo, yun yung compounding interest or compounded semi-annually. Kapag semi-annually naman, that is equal to 2. Okay, para klaro tayo ha. So, M1 natin is quarterly, that is 4. M2 natin is 2, that is semi-annually, kaya 2. Unahin muna natin yung quarterly payment. Kagaya lang din dito sa module ninyo, ang step 1 ninyo, using the formula A is equal to P times quantity of 1 plus I raised to the power of N, find the value of 1 peso invested at 6%, dito kasi 6% yung nasa module ninyo, compounded monthly after 1 year. So the formula is A equals P times 1 plus I raised to the power of N. Interest natin is 3%, diba? So, 3% compounded semi-annually. Ibig sabihin, ang I natin is equal to 0 0.03 over compounded semi-annually, that is 2, kaya 0 0.03 divided by 2. Kaya 0 0.03 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.015. 0 0.015. 
zero fifteen. Ito yung invested one peso in a year. Ito yung rate in a year invested at one peso. By substitution, that would be a equals ang investment mo is one peso palang times one plus zero point zero fifteen raised to the power of n. Ang n natin is compounded semi-annually pa lang siya kasi nga 2 pa lang yan. So, raised to the power of 2. So, magiging 1.015 raised to the power of 2. Then, using our calculator, 1.015 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 1.03 0.2225. Ito yung first formula natin, compounded semi-annually after one year. Okay? Ngayon, kailangan mag-equal sila doon sa quarterly payment. So, kapag quarterly payment naman, that is A equals 1 times 1 plus I raised to the power of N. Quarterly payment siya, kaya ang N naman dito is 4. Nagegets ba? So, dito is 2, dito is 4. Para mag-equal sila, equate natin yung equation. So, dalawa na yung formula natin. So, that would be 1 plus i raised to the power of 4 is equal daw siya dito. Kailangan mag-equal sila. 1.030225. Ngayon, para makuha natin yung i na isa, kunin natin yung fourth root. So, para makancel yung 4 dito. So, pag nag-fourth root tayo dito, mag-fourth root din tayo dito sa kabila. So, magiging 1 plus i na siya, ba diba? Is equal to sorry, may 4 dapat dito. Using our calculator, mag-shift tayo and then, palitan natin to ng 4. 1.030225. So, that is equal to 1.00747 Para makuha yung I, transpose natin yung 1 sa kabila magiging negative 1. So, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 na. So, magiging 0.00747 2084. Then, i-multiply nyo yan ng 100 para makuha yung rate. Or, pwede rin naman ganito na lang din siya. Okay? Tapos, yung rate ninyo dito, yun na yung isa-substitute ninyo doon sa formula later on. Pero dito kasi cash flow lang yung lalagay natin. Ang ilalagay natin dito, that is P times 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. Dito naman, P times 1 plus I raised to N minus 2. Tapos dito, P times 1 plus I raised to N minus 3. So, ang P natin is 5,000. So, 5,000 times 1 plus I. So, ang I natin ito, that is 1.00747200. Eight four raised to the power of n. Ang n natin originally is eto forty forty minus one equals thirty nine. And then dito naman sa pangalawang box five thousand times one point zero zero seven four seven two zero eight four raised to the power of thirty eight. At dito naman five thousand times one point zero zero Ah, zero zero seven four seven two zero eight four raised to the power of thirty seven. At dito sa pinakalas na box, katumbas niya lang den yung regular payment mo na five thousand. Nakuhan niyo? Let's proceed naman dito sa activity one point two letter A. Monthly payments of three thousand pesos for five years. I have for six years with interest rate of 12% compounded annually. So monthly yung payment niya, compounded annually. They are not the same. Ibig sabihin, this is also a general annuity. Ngayon, kagaya lang din sa ginawa natin sa number one kanina, 
Ang monthly payment mo daw is 3,000. So, yun yung ilalagay natin dito. 3,000 per payment. 3,000 pesos. 3,000 pesos. And then, 3,000 pesos. Kunin natin yung N. So, N is equal to yung M2 mo times yung year. So, ang M1 natin is yung payment mo na monthly payment. So, that is equal to 12. Yung M2 naman compounded annually. So, that is equal to 1. So, 1 times ang years mo is 6 years. Ah, sorry. Dapat ano pala to? M1 times T, 12 times 6 dapat ito. So, that is equal to 72 payments. Monthly payments, 12 yun times 6 years. That is equal to 72. Okay? And then, para makuha naman yung formula, kagaya lang din ng ginawa natin kanina, in mag-invest muna tayo ng 1 peso in a year. That is A equals 1 times 1 plus I raised to the power of N. Unahin muna natin itong annually. So, that is 1 times 1 plus ang rate natin is 12%. So, move two places to the left. Yung 12% magiging 0%. 0.12. So, 0.12 over 1 yan. Kasi annually naman siya. Raised to the power of N. Ang N muna natin is annually, kaya raised to the power of 1. So, that would be, so 0.12 divided by 1 equals 0.12 pa rin, plus 1 that is equal to 1.12. Times 1 equals 1.12 pa rin. Raised to the power of 1 or 1.12 na lang. So, this is for the first compounding frequency. For the second compounding frequency naman, yung m sub 1, that is a equals 1 times 1 plus i raised to the power of monthly payment, kaya raised to the power of 12. And then, kailangan mag-equal sila. So, 1 plus i raised to 12 is equal to 1.12. Para makuha natin yung i, kunin natin yung 12 root. So, 12 root of both sides. Makakancel ito, then magiging 1 plus i equals, kunin natin yung calculator natin, shift square root, palitan natin ito ng 12. Then, 1.12 is equal to 1.009488793. Para makuha yung I, transpose natin yung 1. So, magiging 1.009458793 minus 1. So, magiging I equals 0.009458793. 0.009458793 na siya. Okay, so ito yung gagamitin ninyong I doon sa formula. Pero ang ilalagay natin dito is this, 1.009. So that would be 3,000 pesos times 1.009458793. Raised to the power of n minus 1. So, 72 minus 1 is equal to 71. Dito naman sa pangalawang box, ang ilalagay dito, 3,000 times 1.009458793. Raised to the power of n minus 2, kaya magiging 70 dito. 70. And then, dito naman sa panghuli, 3,000 pesos times 1.0094. 58793 raised to the power of 69. Okay? So, ganito ang gumawa ng cash flow sa general annuity. Again, bakit meron tayong M1 at M2? Kasi meron tayong dalawang compounding frequency. Kaya meron din tayong I sub 1 na 12% at yung I sub 2 natin ay ito. I-multiply lang natin ito ng 100 magiging 0.9458793. Percent for monthly payments. Nagets niyo? Okay. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at magcomment narin kayo sa babah. 
Kung gusto ninyong panoorin yung mga susunod pang activities, i-click nyo na lang sa end screen or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!